Okay, if you've ever eaten anything spicy, yes. chances are, yeah, you've experienced heartburn sometime in your life. Boy, it can be miserable. An estimated 15 million Americans experience a severe form that produces almost daily episodes. Yeah, now Bay Area doctors are treating it at the source. ABC 7 News anchor Eric Thomas has a look. As a volunteer, Susan Nafziger cooks pots of chili and other dishes for servicemen and women at Travis Air Force Base. The problem comes when she tries to eat it herself. It burns mostly when I eat, and it can be just about right now anything. Susan suffers from a severe form of stomach reflux. It produces heartburn-like symptoms so uncomfortable she's forced to take medications with potential long-term side effects. But now she's about to try an alternative. So this is the Esovix Z device. At California Pacific Medical Center in San Francisco, Dr. Kenneth Benmoller is preparing an endoscopic device designed to treat the area where the reflux originates without traditional surgery. Our goal now is to lengthen that anti-reflux valve, which is at the junction of the esophagus and the stomach. To accomplish that, Dr. Benmoller inserts the device called the esophix into Susan's throat, then moves it down towards the stomach. Using camera images for guidance, he clamps onto the valve in the stomach that is supposed to keep food and acids from backing up. With a firm grip, he stretches it downward. Once in position, the esophix implants fasteners to keep the new, reshaped valve in place, as seen in this animation provided by the manufacturer. We have reinforced that flap valve by about two to three centimeters in length. He says clinical trials have shown the technique is more effective than drugs in treating the root cause of severe reflux, like Susan's. Because what the pharmacologic therapy does is it neutralizes the acid. It does not treat the reflux. Susan is hoping the procedure will not only reduce her heartburn symptoms, but also allow her to enjoy the foods she loves. To look and think, well, maybe I can eat a hamburger without that uh, would be nice. Eric Thomas, ABC 7 News. The latest version of the device was recently cleared by the FDA and is now covered by many insurance plans.